Hi everyone. How are you doing? Um, my tape is gone. I normally tape my, my thing down and I can't find my tape. I wonder who took it. Which child took it? So, sorry, let me just finish adjusting. I have been uh, doing Facebook Lives for my kitchen. I'm finally back in my craft room, but now my holder is all out of whack, so it took a little longer to sit up today. So, But thanks for joining me, guys. I have... This is going to bother me. I need to tape this down somehow. Um, I'm going to have to use... <laughs> Hi, Kim. I'm going to have to use, like, dimensionals or something. <laughs> Where did my tape... Oh, I have washi tape. That'll work. Oh, those kids. We've got like 12 rolls of scotch tape in this house too, and um, they're all missing. And nobody knows where they are. I ask, who took the tape? Where's the tape? I don't know. Nobody knows where the tape is. Although, I think it's the girl. Pretty sure it's the girl. <laughs> anyway, um, welcome guys. Um, this is kind of a last minute Facebook Live. I did give like a 20 minute notice, but I have this month's paper pumpkin and it's really, really cute. It's called um, No Matter the Weather. Really, really cute. <laughs> My new office. My husband, I don't know if he takes the tape. Um, I don't know what he would tape, um, but I'll, I'll check with him. But anyway, we're going to do this month's paper pumpkin. I'm really, really excited. Um, I haven't I haven't gone too deep into it. We have opened it, and Megan made a card this morning. She's this little bunny. This is the, from the free. This is a free one. This is a free stamp set, and um, she is this little bunny. So that we have used, we've used it at least, but it's really cute. This is the free one. It's so cute. There's like a, a doorway. I love these little um, plants, and this one is really cute. This little um, flower image that I bet lines up with those. And then the boots. You can just stamp the boots. You can color them in or you can fill them in with these really cute floral print boots. And who wouldn't want to, who, who wouldn't want boots like that? Those are so cute. We don't really, um, we don't get enough rain in New Mexico to have rain boots. But if I had rain boots, I would have those. Those are really cute. If I lived maybe in Seattle or somewhere like that, that sees rain all the time. And this is the stamp set that came with the paper pumpkin and I don't know and I mentioned this in a post earlier today I don't know how Stampin' Up! did it with such timely sentiments for right now I mean it, it is so perfectly timed so spot on no matter the weather we're in this together wishing you brighter days ahead you are capable of amazing things let love grow I mean I don't know how they did it but these are just spot on for what's going on right now so um yeah, just amazing. I, I love it. Such a fun set. And then we have a um, basic gray ink spot. And I pulled out my my big pad because I like to save these either for kids or I give them away as gifts. Stuff like that. So I'm going to keep my, I'm going to use my big one. But if you don't have the big one, you can use the one in your in your kit. Hi guys, we have a lot of people watching today. I'm so glad. Um, and then Paper Pumpkin always gives, this is just a little inspiration sheet, lots of fun ideas to use that free additional stamp set. And I might be casing some of these. They are really cute. A little shaker card right here, so a tag. That little bunny is very cute. And then, all right, let's see what's in the rest of the kit. Now I already know what the cards look like because I am not patient and I look ahead. So I already know, but if you aren't maybe new, maybe you don't know, um, this is what paper pumpkin looks like. So we've, we have our ink spot, we have our stamp set, and then it comes with all the supplies. So I have some scissors here. I'm just gonna cut this open. We're gonna take out all our supplies. So take out all your supplies and then don't forget this piece. This is your instruction sheet. So make sure you grab this piece before you toss this. I throw that um, cardboard into a stash. I like to save those. Um, and then use them for other projects. But so these are the three cards we're making. We're making four of each. Is that right? Yeah, four of each. Three times four is 12. I can do math. So we're making four of each. Look how cute. They are so stinking cute. And we're just going to, you guys, we're going to take our time. I haven't stamped in a really long time. So we're just going to take our time. Um, and then all the step-by-step -step instructions come in here. So if you're new to paper crafting, if you're new to paper pumpkin, this will tell you step-by-step -step how to do these. Um, and then the back, it tells you what's included in your kit. And then of course those extra little samples. Okay. I'm going to set these off to the side where I can see them, but let's look at the rest of our supplies here. So we have, of course, we have some glue dots. 
And we have these are so cute. These are like little enamel enamel dots. There's um, round ones and then there's raindrop ones, which is so, so cute. These are really stinking cute. I love these. And there's a lot of them. And then we have, this looks like, what does it say what color this is? Um, it just says Baker's Twine, but I bet it is Pear Pizzazz. Because that is the lighter green. Well, we have Pear Pizzazz, like striped um, Baker's Twine, which is really, really cute. So cute. All right. We have a whole sheet of dimensionals. Fabulous. Love my dimensionals. Um, all the envelopes, and the envelopes are all lined, which is so cute. And they're all, so we have green or shaded spruce, petal pink. And then I think that's either, so saffron or daffodil delight. What is that? I'm trying to look at my colors here. So saffron. So isn't that cute? I love how the envelopes all coordinate. I just, I love that. So um, I'm going to put my envelopes off to the side. We're not going to need those right now anyway. Our card bases, look how cute that is so cute so again you're gonna get four of each I'm only I'm gonna put three aside we're gonna keep out one now these are note card size so they are three and a half by five um, you can mail these I've mailed note cards many 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 times you can mail note cards but if you don't want to do a note card maybe we'll do this with one of the samples too you can just um, you know cut your card base off cut it off right here and then attach it to a full-size card base and maybe we'll do that Maybe um, that'll be fun to do. So these are note cards, but I know if you like the standard four and a quarter by five and a half inch cards, you can just mount these, mount your card base onto a, a full size card. So we're going to take one of those. Look at these cute images, you guys. So there are four sheets of these. So you're going to, we're just going to pull out one for all of our cards. There's boots. There's, oh, look at these boots. So cute. This is really cute. Oh my goodness best paper pumpkin okay so another card base we're gonna set aside three of these I'm making a mess my desk was so clean I was so proud of myself <laughs> it's because I haven't been stamping you guys I've been a homeschool mom now Ugh. all right and then it comes with your little stamping little tags here stamping labels so I'm gonna just punch out one of each of those and this gives you five of each so if you mess up on one you got a spare so that's good all right, let's start with, I think the one, we'll do the one that we're going to mount on another card, and I think I'm going to do that one with these boots. So I'm going to do that one last. And I'll tell you why I'm going to do this one mounted on a bigger card when we get to that one. But let's start with, let's start with this one. I guess, I mean, it doesn't matter what we're starting with. So I do not, I'm not a, I'm not a big instruction reader. I don't read the instructions. That's not what I do. I'm a um, picture follower. You, it gives you nice little step-by-step -step instructions, but what I normally just look at the picture and go, all right, I can figure it out. Most of the time I do pretty well. <laughs> we'll see. All right, it looks like there's some um, texture things stamped on here. And they used a lot of those little enamel dots. Okay, so let's pop out what we need from here. So we're gonna need these fun boots. We're gonna need the bunny. And it looks like one of the hearts. It looks like we're going to have a lot of extra hearts. There are five hearts on this sheet, and I'm only seeing them used on one card. So that's good. Lots of extra hearts. You can, everybody needs some hearts. All right, I'm going to pop this piece out in the middle. I'm going to throw that in the trash. Okay, we're going to do some stamping. Let me pull out this paper, just a scrap piece of paper to stamp on. And which stamp am I using? My basic gray pad. I think we're using this little textured one this little dotted one I think oh I need a block I don't even have a block let me see I'll grab this one so when you um, subscribe to paper pumpkin if you're a brand new subscriber your first kit will come with a block and it'll come with a block this size and that will you'll be able to reuse that one for all of your paper pumpkin stuff but I am just I'm gonna stamp this this is like the little dotted one in that set and I'm just gonna stamp it it looks like it's just stamped kind of all over this oh kind of oh it's not gonna matter too much we'll put our greeting there so just keep stamping lots of fun just texture I'm just gonna there we go looks pretty good good enough oh, I like it that's really cute all right I'm gonna I'm gonna clean off my stamps as we go I know if my friend Kim is watching she'll be very proud of me 
All right, hi guys, hi everybody, thanks for joining. I'm gonna leave my ink pad open. We're, we're gonna live dangerously with my ink pad open. Normally that turns into a disaster, but we're gonna live, we're gonna live on the wild side. We're gonna stamp our greeting. This one uses the Let Love Grow greeting. So let me get that greeting out. And let me pick it up and we're gonna stamp it on this little, looks like petal pink, this little petal pink tag. Oh my goodness, this is not gonna be straight. I gotta, I'm gonna have to use my grid lines to try to get this straight. But you know, even if it's not straight, right, it's, <laughs> you're proud of me for cleaning. <laughs> yeah, it's rare. Normally I just let stamps just kind of sit on my desk until I feel like cleaning them. So, all right, let love grow. So, so fun. All right, where did my card go? Oh, here it is. Oh my word. You guys, it's been a while. All right, let me see how they did this twine. It looks like they just tied a bow and stuck it behind there. So that's what we're going to do. That's what it looks like. That's what we're going to do. Now, if there is, again, if you actually read your instructions, there is a ruler measurement down here, and it'll tell you exactly how much you need on the bunny card. Tie, use 11 inches of twine. Yeah. I'm just going to tie a bow and then cut it off. <laughs> that's, how, that's how I do. That's how I do it. So I'm going to just tie a bow, and then we'll make it the size we want, and then we'll trim it off. I need to grab my scissors. I didn't grab those down either. All right, ribbon scissors. Okay, perfect. I don't know, it's probably around 11 inches. I'm not too concerned. You guys tell. How is everybody doing? I hope you guys are all doing good. You guys, we are, we're doing okay. The kids are handling it well. I'm actually a little, I'm surprised, but we're only on week one still, right? We'll see. But so far, so good. So, lots of dimensionals on the boots here. And then uh, the bunny looks like he's popped up too, so I'm going to put a dimensional on him. And then the heart, that doesn't look like it's popped up, so I'll just use a glue dot on him. Or I'm going to use my I'm gonna use my liquid glue for that instead of the glue dots. You guys don't want to see me mat wrestle with those glue dots right now. All right. All right, so our boots look like they just go, oh my gosh. All right, oh, I hope you guys are with me. I was getting a phone call. I forgot to turn off all my notifications. I hope you guys are still there. I hope you guys are with me still. Okay, so we're just setting our boots down. Our bunny's gonna go, looks like he's gonna go right next to them. And on top, I gotta have my bunny and my boots at the same level, because if you have a floating bunny, that's not gonna do any good right. Sorry guys, I forgot to turn off all my notifications. There we go. I just did a little dot of glue with my, my liquid glue. There we go, and we're gonna stick on our greeting. We need use dimensionals for this. And then we're gonna stick our, our little bow right behind it. I'll toss my dimensional backings. This is so cute. Let me see, I need to center that a little bit. This is really cute. All right. I'm going to take a, a glue dot, stick it on my bow. My kids right now are, um, my son all of a sudden is reorganizing his room. Which is, I mean, that's it's good. He His room is a disaster. So and that's just going to get stuck right behind that greeting. Isn't that cute? I might trim these ends a little bit. That's really cute. Trim those. Perfect. So cute. That's card number one. So cute, right guys? And this one, let's see which envelope does it go. It goes with the yellow. The So Saffron envelopes. So I'll just pull one of those out. This is ready to go. So cute, love it. All right, card number two. Let's see, where am I gonna put these cards? Put them over here. All right, card number two, we're gonna do this one with the little stormy sky. This one might be this is definitely one of my favorite kits ever. I thought last month was my favorite kit, and then I saw I saw this month's kit, and I was like, oh, this one for sure is my new favorite kit. Okay, I'm cleaning my, my greeting so I can put that back. And let's see, we're, this one we're going to need the clouds. So I'm just going to pull out my, let me take this little sheet off. We don't need that. 
pull out my clouds. We're going to need the clouds and the no matter the weather, we're in this together sentiment. And I think that's all the stamping on that one. Let me stick this one back on here. All right. I think that's it. So let me, let me mount up all my stamps. I'm going to, I'm going to put these on one stamp, one block, multitasking. Imagine that. Okay. So the clouds, let me bring my ink back in here. The clouds, the, looks like that's going to be really dark though. Let me pull in my, I think I'm going to stamp these on. Let's see what they look like stamped off on here because I don't want my, I don't want it to be like a super stormy day. Just a little bit stormy. Oh, maybe we need a, maybe we need this, the darker. So we're just stamping our clouds. Well, that, that looks really good. All right. Don't doubt Paper Pumpkin. They know what they're doing. I love this background too. The um, the gray on this background, it just looks like it's watercolor washed, which is just gorgeous. I just love that. All right, I'm gonna use my, my other cloud here. Yeah, I'm just gonna stamp a few little clouds. Mm. So cute. Oh, so cute, love that. Good, all right looks good. All right, we're going to use the round sentiment on this one. Let me move my scrap paper out of the way. The little round, your round one. And I'm going to stamp the, the greeting on that. No matter the weather, we're in this together. Stampin' Up! always amazes me by how on trend they always are and how timely everything is. Just incredible. I don't know how, but it's just incredible. I got to clean up some of my trash here. Okay. All right, let's do this. Let's get this. Oh, can't get my greeting. All right, what do we need from our sheet here? Looks like we need these, these boots, and we need these flowers, and we're gonna need more of that twine. Okay, so these are all up on dimensionals. Whether they're supposed to be or not, they're going up on dimensionals. I put dimensionals on everything. All right, I'm gonna throw my dimensionals everywhere. I feel like that's gonna need dimensionals. What can I fit one there? Let me cut one in half. So I don't want that. I like the clouds too, Kathy, I love those. Those are really versatile for, I mean, almost any project. Okay, half a dimensional on that one, perfect. All right, so the boots are gonna go down. They're gonna go down in the grass, just like that. Oh, you guys, we forgot to put our twine on. Ooh. My goodness. All right, it looks like they did a double a double thing of twine. So I'm just going to cut off, you know, that much. <laughs> Enough that I think, remember, check your directions if you want precise measurements. I'm just going to, all right, I'm going to glue that. I'm going to stick this down and then I'll tie my bow. Because once that's stuck down, it'll be easier to, to maneuver. So I'm just using, I'm tying, using both of those th strands, threads, strands of twine to create my little bow here and then we'll trim it all up in the end all right so cute all right let me just make that a little smaller oh i love that okay trim trim so cute all right and the flowers those go on i don't want to put those oh so cute Okay, all right, and I'm gonna use my snail just to attach this to the, tuck that in right here. No matter the weather, we're in this together. So cute, this one, oh my gosh, might be my favorite. Love it, oh, you guys, we forgot on both of these cards, we forgot these little, these little raindrop things. Let me see, okay, so they use the raindrops on the, okay. Got it, I'm gonna grab my take your pick tool. And they use the raindrops on um, the stormy looking one, and then they use the circle ones on this one. So I'm gonna see if I can pick them up. Perfect. I love my take your pick tool. Definitely, I'm gonna peel off some of this putty. It's a little too much. Definitely one of my favorite all time tools. Okay, we're just gonna stick these raindrops, and they just add such a fun little texture. I know they're probably not showing up very well in the camera, but on the card they just add so much fun texture okay and i'm gonna i'm gonna do five 
I like embellishments and odd numbers. I don't know if you guys can see those. Oh, it's so, it adds, you wouldn't think it adds a lot, but it does add a lot. And then for the, I'm just going to add, I think, maybe I'll do five on this one too. These are nice and small, so they're not going to interfere with mailing. These little clear ones. And you can color these. If you have some Stampin' Blends, you can color them with your blends and really make them pop. And we're this one, put one down here. Perfect. Five on that one too. Perfect. Love that. Okay. So this one and then the shaded spruce envelope, which was, where are you? Here it is. The shaded spruce envelope went with this one. So cute. Okay. So those are, those are our two. And then I think for this one, let me see if I have a balmy blue base. I think we're going to go with balmy blue for this one. Cause I told you guys I was going to chalk this one up and put it on a, on a card base. Oh, perfect. I have a bonnie blue base. Perfect. So I'm going to pull out my, my perfect little mini trimmer. Remember you can get this through the end of celebration, which is only like a week left. Do we have a little more than a week, a little more than a week left of celebration. You can get this when you join my team, this beautiful little mini trimmer. Now don't get rid of this piece. This is great cardstock you can stamp on. So save that. So we are going to assemble this card and then we're just going to mount it onto a card base. So save this. Don't toss this because look at all those hearts in there. Don't get rid of this. I know it might be tempting. You're like, oh, I used all the images, but there are hearts in there. So pop out all these little, all these little pieces. These little boots. So cute. Okay. Now I'm going to tell you guys why. Oh man. Look what I did. I tossed that trash in my water. Okay. Don't keep your liquids in front of your trash can. That's fantastic. Good job, me. So the reason that I wanted this to be mounted onto a bigger cardstock is because it looks like they tied the twine around the inside of the card. And for me personally, I I really don't like tying twi tying twine on the or ribbon or of any kind on the inside of my card. I don't like to see it on the inside of my card. I like a clean finish on the inside of my card. So um, I. For me personally, I don't want to, I don't want to tie it around the inside of my card. So that's why this one is perfect. We can tie the twine around this piece. It'll be mounted onto our card base and then nobody will ever know. All right. So I'm going to just wrap that around twice. I'm going to cut, cut the end and then we're going to tie a bow on this side. It's on the right side of your card. I'm going to tie a bow. So when I'm tying twine, I like to knot it first because the knot doesn't take up that much room, but it gives you a nice little stable base to, to get that bow on there. So tie your bow. And then what is the greeting on here? Oh, you were capable of amazing things. Perfect. Perfect greeting. Tie my bow. Okay, perfect. Super happy with that. I love twine. I think that when I'm adding ribbon or any textile thing to a card. I love twine because it's it's not bulky. You can use it in to mail and it's just it's so much fun. It's just a fun accent. Okay. Dimensionals on every boot, every pair of boot, every pair of boots here. Oh. All right. There we go. Peel off all our backings and then this goes right on over our boots. Line up those green boots. Perfect. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't do that. I just noticed there was stamping on the bottom and on the background. Hmm. We're going to have to stamp around our twine, but that's okay. We can do it. I didn't clean any of my stamps. So let me, let's clean real quick on my chamois. I love my chamois. If you don't have a chamois, this is the, the best thing to clean your stamps. I have about six of them, so it is, they're worthwhile for sure. All right. Where's my stamps? Here they are. Everything is all buried now. So I think we're it's this little textured, this textured one, and then the raindrops are the other one. And then let's get out the greeting as long as we're doing this. You are capable of amazing things. Okay. So let's start with, now I've already tied my baker's twine on there. So we're going to have to stamp around the baker's twine, but we can do it. So, so it looks like these are just, and I'm going to just try to go across here looks like they did it kind of um, 
unevenly and kind of sporadically, which is good, but I want it's my scrap paper to stamp off. I want a little more structure to my pavement here. Perfect. All right, perfect. All right, and then we're gonna stamp our little raindrops in the background. And looks like they just kind of went all over stamping raindrops. I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna cover it as much as they did, but I think I'm gonna add a few. Big one down here. Now, if you um, were not like me and you did your twine after, you would have a much better time, much easier time stamping. Okay. And our last thing is the greeting. I'm going to grab another block. And that goes on our blue banner here. This little blue banner. Which way does it go? They have it going this way. Okay. I'm going to do that. Ink it up. Let's see if I can get this straight. Let's see. Perfect. Oh, you're capable of amazing things. Great. Okay, we can close that up now. We averted all disaster. Where did my card go? Oh my goodness. All right. Now we can stick these on. These are nice and sticky. We've already peeled off the backings. We can stick those on. That looks much better. Much more completed. Isn't that cute? All right. And then I'm going to just use my snail and add on my greeting. I can hear my children fighting. That's fantastic. Hope you guys can't hear that. All right, I'm gonna stick that on, so cute. Okay, and now this is going to go on, although I think I'm gonna cut, yeah, I think I'm gonna cut a basic gray mat for that. So now if you were just doing this on your card, then your card would be done. You are, well, I think we need to still add those, those other little enamel things, let me see. Basic gray, perfect, okay. Here is a, let me get out my big trimmer for this. So that, I need a piece that is, actually, I think I'm just going to go, I'm going to keep it at five inches. So there's not going to be a border on the left or the right, but there is going to be a border top to bottom. So we're going to cut this at three and a quarter. And I think that will even, that'll help square up my, my image on my card base too. So I'm going to, I'm just going to use snail on this. And I'm just going to, so it's going to be the same left to right, so I'm not going to try to leave a border left to right, but there is going to be a little border on the top and the bottom. Okay. And then this is going to go right onto our card base. Oh, I like that much better. I think it frames that much better. So cute. All right. Dimensionals. Dimensionals. Throw those on the back. And then we'll add on our, oh man, like a dimensional mess here. We'll add on our little enamel things and then we'll be done with this. So remember, in Paper Pumpkin, you're going to get enough supplies for 12 of these cards. And next month, oh, they've talked about next month. I haven't had time to read up on next month's, but I think you, I think they're cards. So that we are in the subscription period for April now. So if you didn't get the, the March kit, it might, it's probably too late unless they have any extras. And you'll, you can purchase the extra kits if you are a Paper Pumpkin subscriber. You must be a Paper Pumpkin subscriber to purchase the kits. Um, so let me see. Yep, they did. They did some raindrops on this one. So let's go back to our take your pick tool. I'm going to throw on some raindrops. But the April kit, I think, will be, I mean, the kits get better and better each month. So once you are subscribed, you just stay subscribed and you just keep getting all these amazing, amazing kits. And I think the April one, I think there, there was a video put out about the April one about connecting with family members. Um, with the April Paper Pumpkin Kit, which again, Stampin' Up! super timely, right? Because how many of us have family members that maybe we aren't seeing right now? We're talking to them, but maybe we're not seeing them in person. That is so stinking cute. I love it. This might be my favorite. And then this one is definitely my second favorite card. Now this one would go with the petal pink envelopes. Pull that out. So the petal, actually, but this envelope is now too small. So I'll have to use a regular envelope for this one, but um, 
Let me pull in the cards again. So cute. So I did leave, leave a link in the comments if you wanted to subscribe to Paper Pumpkin. Paper Pumpkin is a great thing and it's a great thing to do with kids. If you are home with the kids, Paper Pumpkin is a great thing because it's an all-inclusive kit and the kids can, can definitely do it. My kids love Paper Pumpkin. Um, my daughter actually asked if she could make one of these cards so I may make, let her make a few later and we can send them off to maybe grandparents or something. Just let them know we're thinking about them. So you guys, that is it for me today. I'm going to try to pop in throughout the week, next week. Um, again, it's going to be super challenging based on everything that's going on. We have kids doing all their schoolwork here, which I have to maintain. My husband's working from home, so it's just, it's super, super challenging. I'm going to try to get a lot of work done this weekend. And um, that way, maybe I'll have time just to pop on every once in a while next week. But just, just watch. Um, I may not be keeping my regular Facebook Live schedule, but just watch. I'll make sure to try to post in advance when I go live. But if you guys have any questions, if you want to reach out, um, please let me know. Um, you can always shop my online store if you need any supplies. You can use this host code. All um, orders through the 25th using this host code are going to be entered to win the little ladybug stamps that I have an extra one of those I'm giving away. So if your order is over $40 or more and you use this host code, you're going to enter to win that little ladybug stamp set. So fantastic deal, fantastic way to win some prizes. And yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks so much for joining me on Saturday morning. And I hope you guys stay well. If you have questions, let me know. Otherwise, I will see you guys later. Have a great weekend. Stay safe. Bye.